In this video, I'll be looking at 1.2 expanding brackets, double slash triple brackets. 1.2 represents chapter 1, section 2 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Before I cover some examples on expanding and simplifying brackets, I would like to quickly recap something very important from my previous video, 1.1, and that is as follows. If you have a negative, you multiply by a positive, this gives us a negative. A positive multiplied by a negative gives us a negative. Two negatives multiplied together gives us a positive. So this over here is essential for what I'm going to be covering in this particular video. So examples, expand and simplify the following brackets. We've got A, B, C, D, E and F. Let's start off with part A. So we've got double brackets over here and we need to expand. First of all, have a look at the first bracket. The first term is x, the second term is negative 3. We start off with the first term which is x and we multiply by each of the terms in the second bracket. Then we go on to the second term in the first bracket which is minus 3 and we multiply by each of the terms in the second bracket. So I'm going to do that now. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by positive 2 is positive 2x. Negative 3 multiplied by x is negative 3x. Negative 3 multiplied by positive 2 is negative 6. Now we need to simplify this by collecting like terms. So the x squared stays as it is. 2x minus 3x is minus x. And we have the minus 6 at the end. Part B. x plus 5 in brackets. The second bracket is 2x plus 3y minus 5. Okay, so we start off with the first term and we multiply by each of the terms in the second bracket followed by the second term in the first bracket multiplied by each of the terms in the second bracket. So I'm going to do that now. I've got x multiplied by 2x which is 2x squared. x multiplied by positive 3y is positive 3xy. x multiplied by negative 5 is negative 5x. Then, positive 5 multiplied by 2x is positive 10x. Positive 5 multiplied by positive 3y is positive 15y. And then, positive 5 multiplied by negative 5 is negative 25. Now I need to simplify this by collecting like terms. I've got 2x squared as it is. I've got plus 3xy as it is. Minus 5x plus 10x is just plus 5x. Then we have the positive 15y followed by the negative 25. Moving on to part c. So I would like to expand this double bracket over here. To make things a little bit more easier ladies and gents we can swap these two brackets. Now I multiply the first term in the first bracket with each of the terms in the second bracket followed by the second term in the first bracket multiplied by each of the terms in the second bracket. So let's do this. I've got 5 multiplied by 4y which is 20y. 5 multiplied by negative x is negative 5x. 5 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10 minus y multiplied by 4y is negative 4y squared. Minus y multiplied by negative x is negative xy. Minus y multiplied by negative 2 is positive 2y. Now I need to simplify this particular expression. So what do we have here? Well, the negative 4y squared stays as it is. The negative xy stays as it is. We've got 20y plus 2y, okay, giving us plus 22y, and then we've got negative 5x and the negative 10. Moving on to part D. So we want to expand this over here. The first step is to expand the double brackets using the general procedure that I've been following in my previous part of the examples. And that procedure is to take the first term in the first bracket and multiply by each of the terms in the second bracket. Then you take the second term in the first bracket and you multiply by each of the terms in the second bracket. So I'll do this now. I've got x multiplied by x which is x squared, x multiplied by positive 3y which is positive 3xy, x multiplied by negative 4 is negative 4x, 
followed by positive 2 multiplied by x is positive 2x, positive 2 multiplied by positive 3y is positive 6y, positive 2 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 8. Okay, I'm going to simplify the expression inside the bracket. I've got x squared as it is, 3xy as it is, minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x, plus 6y, minus 8. The next step in the procedure is to multiply each of these terms by the x. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. x multiplied by x squared is x cubed. x multiplied by positive 3xy is positive 3x squared y x multiplied by negative 2x is a negative 2x squared and so on. We have positive 6xy, negative 8x. Moving on to part E, we have a bracket squared and a bracket. The bracket squared means whatever you have inside the bracket is repeated twice. So I can write 3x minus 2 in brackets, 3x minus 2 in brackets, followed by 2x plus 1 in brackets. Now, it's up to you. You can expand these two brackets and then later on expand it with this, or you can expand these two brackets and then later on expand it with this. So I'm going to keep the first bracket as it is and expand these two, okay? So I've got 3x multiplied by 2x, which is 6x squared. 3x multiplied by positive 1 is positive 3x. Minus 2 multiplied by 2x is minus 4x. Minus 2 multiplied by positive 1 is negative 2. I can simplify this particular quadratic, giving me 6x squared minus x minus 2. The next step is to multiply these brackets. Okay, so we have 3x multiplied by 6x squared is 18x cubed. 3x multiplied by negative x is negative 3x squared. 3x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6x. Negative 2 multiplied by 6x squared is negative 12x squared. Negative 2 multiplied by negative x is positive 2x. Then negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4. Okay, so now we can simplify this particular expression by collecting like terms. We have 18x cubed as it is, minus 3x squared, minus 12x squared, gives us minus 15x squared. Minus 6x plus 2x gives us negative 4x. And then we have the plus 4 at the end. Moving on to part f, you now have a bracket cubed. This means that whatever you have inside the bracket, you repeat it three times. So I can write 2x minus 3y in brackets three times. You now have two options to expand these brackets. Option number one, you can expand these two brackets and then expand the first bracket with your result. Option number two, you can expand these two brackets and then expand the third bracket with your result. I would like you all to expand and simplify these triple brackets. Once you're done, the answer will come up on the board. Okay, ladies and gents, this is the final answer. I've expanded these two brackets and then my result with the first bracket. A quick note, some students might have, for example, this term over here, 18xy squared, written as 18y squared x, that is equivalent, that's correct. But in general, you should keep your letters in alphabetical order. So over here, I've got the x first, then the y squared. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.